If you're a leader today, I will guarantee you that you are super busy. I'm seeing so many leaders who are just busy and under the pump. They're just trying to get through the day, trying to get through the week. But here's the problem. They're leaders by title. They're not actually doing any leading. And some of them will admit they're not doing any leading. But I'll tell you who can tell me they're not doing any leading. It's their teams. I've never seen an era where so many teams find their leaders totally uninspiring. And some of these leaders I know, and they're actually good people. So what's happening? What's happening is the communication and collaboration is falling away in corporate. It's because so many leaders are actually not leading, they're barely managing, they're actually in operational tasks. They're helping their team, they're doing things for their team. They're caught up in operational things. Now you've got to do a little bit of that, sometimes a lot of that, but not all the time all of that. You have to be leading. And part of the great thing about being a leader is communication. Harvard Business Review will tell you now that 86% of executives globally think that poor communication and poor collaboration is holding their businesses back. And they're 100% right. So as a leader, you must carve out time to lead, to manage your people, to inspire your people, to think about strategy. If you're on an LT, if you're a member of a leadership team, what is that LT doing? If that LT is just doing operational issues, then it's the wrong meeting. Too many meetings I'm seeing held by leaders are operational leadership meetings. They're not really leading, they're just doing operations. People aren't doing the pre-reading. People are turning up and going through things. Meetings are going from half an hour to two to three hours with no time rest for the rest of the day. So I really beg of you, think about where am I leading? Where am I managing? Can I delegate? If someone can do something as 80% as good as you can, let them do it and train them up. Delegate, empower. And remember this, the main job of a leader is to create more leaders. You can't do that while you're buried in operations.